Hi, I'm David Baxter, and welcome to Cabiras This Week. And this week, we decided to come to the Mount Pleasant Farmer's Market. Uh, Amy's on assignment this week, but oh, we've got all kinds of great things to tell you and show you. I mean, there's some great produce, meats, all kinds of great things here. We've got a lot of other information. Man, there is just so much stuff going on this week. Going to give you all that contact information, but if you miss it, don't worry about it. We'll give you a web address and an email address at the end of the show. And I tell you what, you know, when you go to the grocery store, you kind of, you know, you're going to pick up your produce and the different types of foods and all this. If you've never been to the Mount Pleasant Farmer's Market, you got to check it out. I mean, the cool thing is, you know, this is locally grown produce. You know, you, you're outside. It's a whole lot of fun. I mean, they have all kinds of great things. Some of the freshest and healthiest fruits and vegetables and meat for your dinner table. You know, and the other thing is you're supporting the local farming communities here. Now, if you want a kind of a more personal, organic way of shopping that gets you outside in the fresh air, then you got to come on down because it's a great way to know the folks who produce this quality food. Now, the Mount Pleasant Farmer's Market is located at North Main Street Mini Park. It's open every Tuesday from 4 p.m. till 7 p.m. and Saturday noon to 7 p.m. Park offers a playground for children, is within walking distance to like Moose Pharmacies, Buddy Restaurant, Marvin Fresh Farmhouse, the Mount Pleasant Barbershop, and a whole lot more restaurants, all sorts of cool things. For more information on the Mount Pleasant Farmer's Market, and that's running through August the 16th, just call 704-436-9803, or you can just visit townofmountpleasantnc.org. And the cool thing is, you know, you get a chance to meet some of the folks who actually produce all these vegetables. And I mean, it's just, you know, it's fun to kind of get to know your neighbors. Now, I, I don't know about you, I can't believe it's already July. And uh, so I know that they had a great celebration here this past weekend here in Mount Pleasant. Well, if you want to keep on doing that 4th of July celebration, well, come on to Harrisburg this weekend because events beginning Thursday on June the 30th at Harrisburg Park. Now, the fun kicks off with the Miss July 4th pageant, and that's on Thursday, June the 30th at 6 p.m., and that's going to be at Hickory Ridge High School. And then on Friday, July the 1st, the park opens up at 4 p.m., and there visitors can all kinds of cool things. There's music and a amusement all the way until midnight. Now the fireworks begin at 10 p.m. Now you got to see the town's annual parade and that's going to be on Saturday, July the 2nd. Starts at 9 a.m. Come on by. We're going to be there taping the show which will be broadcast a little bit later and that that parade route runs right down Highway 49. Now the festivals in the park begins at 10:30 a.m. and ends at midnight. Fireworks will be at 10 p.m. Now remember alcohol, coolers, and pets aren't allowed uh, in this event. For more information on the 4th of July celebration in Harrisburg on Thursday, June the 30th through Saturday, July the 2nd, just visit harrisburgnc.org. Now, not to be outdone, now you, if you want to keep on going with that uh, 4th of July celebration, then the summer concert series at Village Park in Kannapolis continues with the Charlotte Symphony Stars and Stripes Salute, and that's also on Saturday, July the 2nd. The Charlotte Symphony performs a free concert at 7 p.m. and is followed by a fireworks display. For more information about the Charlotte Symphony Stars and Stripes Salute on Saturday, July the 2nd, 7 p.m., at Village Park, and that's located on A and C Streets in the North Loop Road in Kannapolis. Just call 704-920-4343 or visit cityofkannapolis.com. Now, if you notice a few changes going on in uh, Concord and Kannapolis, curbside recycling is changing in the next couple of weeks. Now, beginning on Friday, July the 1st, at the City of Kannapolis is launching its um, curbside recycling and that's going to pick up every other week. Now on Tuesday, July the 5th, the City of Concord begins its new rollout recycling collection service. Now Concord and Kannapolis residents will start seeing the new green Waste Pro trucks. I saw one coming in today actually. Uh, this operated by one person. They're driving up and down the streets, kind of getting used to their routes. While garbage will still be collected every week on the same day as it is now, Recycling is going to be collected every other week. Now, weekly collections of yard waste continues without any kind of changes. To find out about the City of Concord recycling schedule or to view a complete list of new recyclable items, because there are a number, just visit concordnc.gov. And for more information about the City of Kannapolis's recycling program, just go to cityofkannapolis.com slash recycling or call the Public Works Department at 704-920-4200. 
Now this is the last week that you can enjoy, kind of take that break on the Thursdays on Main in downtown Kannapolis, kind of break up your lunchtime uh, routine with a musical concert, and that's on Thursday, June the 30th, and that's featuring the band Sea Cruise. Now the free performance is held between 11.30 a.m. and 1 p.m., and that's at Veterans Park the corner of Main Street and First Avenue in downtown Kannapolis. So you can pack your own lunch or you can yep, purchase some lunch there from the Kannapolis restaurant that's showcased at the event. Now parking is available downtown and all around the NC Research Campus. For more information about Thursdays on Main, on Thursday, June 30th from 11.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. in downtown Kannapolis, just call 704-920-4343 or visit cityofkannapolis.com. Now moms, got this great program and explore nature with your children's in a three-week mommy and me program and that's an event at the Frank List Park in Concord and that's beginning on Friday July the 8th come on out and join kind of a combination of things from classes with songs stories outdoor plays crafts and a whole lot more now the classes will continue to be held on Friday uh, July the 15th and Friday July the 22nd Parents must stay with the child during the class. Now, I don't know why you'd want to leave them because you'd miss all the fun, but if that's not enough, there's a, stack, there's a snack included also, okay? Now, the workshop is $20 per session and is open to children ages two through five. Pre-registration is needed by Tuesday, July the 5th. You can register online for the Mommy and Me at cabarruscounty.us slash reserve partner. Type in the word Mommy in the class search box. For more information on Mommy and Me, held on Friday, July the 8th from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. at Frank List Park at 4001 Strauth Road in Concord. Just call 704-920-2701 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash parks. Or just once you go to Facebook, which is facebook.com slash cabarruscountyparks. Now, if you've ever wanted to uh, try kayaking, Got a great opportunity for you. I remember one time I was doing scuba diving lessons and I was watching these guys, you know, all trying to learn how to kayak. It looked like a whole lot of fun. So if you're really interested in it, it's time to give it to you. We're gonna have it at Camp Spencer Park in Concord on Saturday, July the 9th. Now it's called Beginner's Guide to Kayaking. Now participants will spend a peaceful afternoon on the pond, you know, kind of learning the basics, everything from paddling. Then you'll kind of test your skills. They have an obstacle course you can go through. Program is for ages 12 and up, and the cost is only $2. Class size is limited, so pre-register online by Thursday, July the 7th at cabarruscounty.us slash reserve partner. Type in the word kayaking in the class search box. For more information about Beginner's Guide to Kayaking on Saturday, July the 9th from 1 to 2 p.m. at Camp Spencer Park, and that's at 3155 Fox Ford, Fox Ford Road in Concord. Just call 704-795-4492 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash parks. And on Facebook, just go to facebook.com slash cabarruscountyparks. Now, I don't know about you, but, <clears throat> you know, when I grew up, I used to love to cruise all around. We had this space in Lincolnton is where I was at. You could drive around cruising in your cars. Well, if you're kind of reminiscing about those days, Kannapolis is going to help you out. You can have those uh, kind of cool times. It's called Kannapolis Cruise In, and that's going to be on Saturday, July the 9th. You'll see every type of classic cars kind of cruising up down West Avenue in downtown Kannapolis. And there's even a DJ who's going to be playing the music to kind of put you in the mood. And uh, you'll be able to talk with the car's owners, also get a really up-close and personal look at their beauties. Now, the Cruise In begins at 3.30 p.m. and runs from 9.30 p.m. For more information about the free Kannapolis Cruise In on Saturday, July the 9th from 3.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. in downtown Concord. Just visit CabarrasEvents.org. We have such a great time every week going to different places all over Cabarrus County and it was really, this is our first time here at the Mount Pleasant Farmers Market to see all these great produce and all kinds of different meats. You know, and we're so lucky here in Cabarrus County because literally you can go to a farmers market almost every day of the week and get all kinds of fresh locally grown produce and meats. I mean, it's, it's really, we're really pretty fortunate here. Now, if you enjoy a great nature story, then uh, come on by um, Franklis Park in Concord because a park ranger every Thursday has a series and it's going to start Thursday, July the 7th, and they're going to tell you this nature story. Now, the class will meet between 6 p.m. and 7 p.m., rain or shine. Now, if it's raining, we'll move inside to the barn, but if not, then just meet at the flagpole 
and that's near the barn. Now, story times will continue through August the 25th. Register online for the free summer story series, and that's on Tuesday before each session at cabarriscounty.us slash reserve partner. Type in the words summer story in the class search box. For more information on the summer story series at Franklis Park, uh, just and that's in Concord. Just call 704-920-2701 or visit cabarriscounty.us/parks or just go to Facebook and that's facebook.com/cabarriscountyparks. Now, if you want like nature, great nature walk at North Cabarrus Park, and on July 16th. Come out there for a free guided nature walk through the park trails. And if you've never been out there, they're really terrific. Now the walk begins at 10 a.m., which is a little cooler time of the day, and the registration is not required. All you got to do is meet in front of the office with your gear, and that would consist of comfortable shoes, maybe a little bug spray, and at least a bottle of water. Okay. For more information about the nature walk on Saturday, July the 16th at 10 a.m. at North Cabarrus Park. And that's at 760 Orphanage Road in Kannapolis. Just call 704-795-4492 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash parks. And on Facebook, go to facebook.com slash parks. Now the Mount Pleasant branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library is going to present a terrific storyteller named of Mark Daniels. And that's going to be on Tuesday, July the 5th. Now Daniels programs have motivated and inspired children, check this out, over three million children in thousands of schools and libraries throughout the United States over the past 20 years. Now, this guy's got some experience. He must be a terrific storyteller. He's even performed twice at the annual Easter egg roll at the White House. Now all the performances share a goal of spreading joy and encouraging reading. Now, for more information about Mark Daniels' visit on Tuesday, July the 5th from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. at the Mount Pleasant Library, and that's at 8556 Cook Street, just call 704-920-2311 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash library. And on Facebook, just go to facebook.com slash library. Now, you fishing for a good time? No, I didn't say that. That was written for me. Okay. <laughs> Come on out and learn everything you need to know about fishing at Camp Spencer Park for a workshop. It's called Fishing for Fun, and that's going to be on Saturday, July the 16th. Now, this three-week course will cover all the basics of fishing, everything from lures to knots, casting, and even, now a lot of people really like doing this part, handling the fish after you've caught it, because those slippy little boogers, they can just be flipping all over the place, so I should probably find out how not to lose them in the water. Now, there's going to be fishing games during the program, and also to kind of give you kind of a better understanding what it's like under the water. That sounds pretty good. Now, cost is $15. is open to children from 7 to 15 years old. Pre-register online on Thursday, July the 14th at cabarruscounty.us slash reserve partner. Type in the word fishing in the class search box. For more information about fishing for fun on Saturday, July the 16th from 1 to 3 p.m. at Camp Spencer Park at 3155 Fox Ford Road in Concord. Just call 704-795-4400. 92 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash parks or again you can go to Facebook facebook.com slash parks now you know in the summertime especially if you're kind of out in the parks or kind of out in the country a little bit and you go out you'll see fireflies now fireflies love warm kind of humid areas they thrive in forests and fields and marshes and also near ponds and lakes and streams but do you know what makes a firefly light up I'm not going to tell you, because Denise didn't tell me, so I'm not going to tell you. So we'll have to go together and find out the answer at the Firefly Fun at Frank Fisk Park at, in Concord on Saturday, July the 16th. Cost is $2 and open to all ages. Now pre-registration is needed by Thursday, July the 14th. Register online for Firefly Fun, easy for me to say, at cabarruscounty.us slash reserve partner. Type in the word Firefly in the class search box. For more information on Firefly Fun held on Saturday, July 16th from 7.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. at Frank List Park in Concord, just call 704-920-2701 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash parks or on Facebook, facebook.com, Cabarrus County Parks. Now, just a reminder, 
over the holiday here, uh, that on Monday, July the 4th, the Cabarrus County Governmental Offices, and that includes is all the Cabarrus County Senior Centers and the county landfill, will be closed. Now, in addition, all the park branch, all the library branches will be closed also on Monday, July the 4th. Now, the, the county operated parks will operate on a normal schedule. Now, I know we've run over a lot of information today, lots of different things. If you missed any kind of contact information, don't worry about it. You can just go to our web address, which is cabarruscounty.us. Have a little search box there. Put in your topic, pretty much find anything you're looking for. If you have any kind of problems, just shoot us an email at channel22 at cabarruscounty.us. And again, the best way to get all this information is to sign up for our Cabarrus This Week newsletter. And you go to the homepage, cabarruscounty.us. In the upper right-hand corner, it says, sign me up. Click on that, gives just a few basic information, and you'll get it every week as everything we have on the show and a lot more. So you can kind of also pick up on a few things here and there that we don't talk about on the show. Now, and if you kind of out in a place that doesn't have cable, you don't have Time Warner cable, your family or friends, then just uh, go to our web address, which is cabarruscounty.us. If you kind of scroll down the lower left, right there you'll see a little video screen, and below it it says, for more Channel 22 programs, click on that. And then all once comes up on the page is all the different programs that we do, and you can watch that on demand whenever you'd like. And I tell you what, if you haven't had an opportunity to come out here to the Mount Pleasant Farmer's Market, you got to come out here and do that. It's great, you know, it kind of keeps the money within Cabarrus County. You're supporting local farmers. And I tell you what, there is nothing like fresh fruits and vegetables and meats, and you know where it came from. And the cool thing about it is you get a chance to meet some of the folks who are involved in growing all that. So, until, uh, I mean, we got a whole lot of stuff going on. We got all kinds of different things. You got parades, you got all kinds of Fourth of July celebrations. So have a safe and a wonderful holiday. And until next time, we'll see you then.